Hey guys you're watching Dogdingda Poodle's top secret facts and informational video. Let's see what we can discover about the Poodle Dog. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become a part of our notification squad. One, poodles first originated in Germany, not France. Although it is the national dog of France, the poodle actually originated in Germany. The breed name comes from the German word, pudel, or, puddelen, which means, to splash in the water. In fact, the term, French poodle, is a misnomer. In France, the breed is called caniche, French for, duck dog. Many believe that the breed is the result of crosses between several European water dogs, including Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, Hungarian, and Russian water dogs. 2. They were originally bred as hunting dogs. The poodle was named after splashing in water because these dogs were originally bred to be water retrievers. Their job was to bring ducks and other birds back to their masters. They haven't lost their skills over the years. Some waterfowl hunters still use poodles in the field today. Point 3. The poodle cut is meant for function, not fashion. Some may think the poodle's unique look is for aesthetic reasons, but the lion coat clip served an important purpose in their working role. It might seem like the ultimate canine fashion statement, but the traditional poodle cut is really all about function, not fashion. Less hair would make the poodle a more efficient swimmer, but more vulnerable to cold water. To get the best of both worlds, Poodle owners placed puffs of hair around the joints and the upper torso to protect the joints and vital organs. 4. There are a variety of hairstyles for poodles. Each poodle haircut has very specific rules about where the puffs and pom-poms of hair should be and how long they should be. To compete as show dogs, adult poodles must have one of three hairdos. The continental clip, the modified continental clip, or the English saddle. Puppies in competitions have the official puppy clip which is an even length all over the body. 5. Poodles come in three size varieties, but all follow one breed standard. From the tiny toy poodle to the mid-sized miniature poodle and stunning standard poodle, the breed comes in different sizes. All the sizes fall under the same breed and are expected to comply with the same breed standard. The toy poodle stands up to 10 inches tall, and weighs about 6 to 9 pounds. The miniature poodle stands 11 to 15 inches tall and weighs 15 to 17 pounds. The standard poodle stands 15 inches and taller, usually 22 inches, males weigh 45 to 70 pounds and females weigh 45 to 60 pounds. 6. Regardless of size, poodles are highly active dogs. The poodle is one of the oldest breeds developed especially for hunting waterfowl. Taking a cue from their history as duck hunters, Poodle owners should give their dogs lots of exercise. They're excellent retrievers and enjoy a good game of fetch, as well as jogging and long walks. As superb water dogs, swimming is another great option. The Poodle is a wonderful companion for kids, although young kids who don't know how to handle a dog could accidentally hurt a toy Poodle, the smallest and most delicate variety of the breed. 7. They have hair, not fur. What's the difference between hair and fur? You may wonder. Fur grows up to a certain point and then falls off, what we know as shedding. Hair does not fall out and never stops growing. Poodle hair, like human hair, can respond to hormonal changes in the body. Female poodles can experience hair thinning or loss after having puppies. Unlike dogs that shed, the poodle will grow fur continuously. As a result, they need regular grooming. If left ungroomed, their fur will become matted and dreadlock-like. On the upside, they're hypoallergenic and generally odorless. 8. Lots of poodles have jobs. Poodles are among the smartest dog breeds. Their intelligence and eagerness to please make them great service dogs. Poodles are also employed as guide dogs, assistance dogs for people with other physical disabilities, and therapy dogs. They've even been utilized as truffle hunters due to their keen noses. Their daily recommended amount. Standards, 1.5 to 3 cups of high-quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. Miniatures, 3 quarters to 1 cup. Toys, 1 quarter to 1 half cup. 9. A team of poodles once competed in the Iditarod. 
The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race takes place every year in Alaska and is now restricted to northern breeds well adapted to the cold. This rule restricting the breeds was adopted after a musher, named John Souter, attempted to compete with a team of standard poodles in 1988. Some of the poodles were so cold, with frozen feet and hair matting problems, that they had to be dropped off at checkpoints. 10. Small poodles were circus performers. The miniature poodle is thought to have been originally bred in France, where they were popular circus performers. This was due to their intelligence, ability to learn tricks quickly, as well as their adorable look. Poodles who grow up with other dogs or pets in the house, or who have plenty of opportunities to interact with them in group training classes, dog parks, and the like, will enjoy their company. If your poodle is used to being the only pet in the household, however, he may need some time and special training to help him accept a newcomer. 11. They're super smart. Poodles are one of the smartest breeds, second only to the Border Collie in rankings of canine intelligence. Their smarts make them extremely easy to train and a favorite of circuses. In the 1800s, they were often dressed in miniature human clothing and trained to act out elaborate scenes. Poodles do just fine in any type of home, from apartments to estates, so long as they have regular exercise and plenty of human companionship. They prefer to live indoors with the family, particularly the smaller toy and miniature poodles, since they have no trouble getting their yayas out in the house. 12. Many American icons have owned poodles. Elvis Presley was particularly fond of poodles. He kept them as pets and frequently gave them to girlfriends. Other famous poodle owners include Elizabeth Taylor, Jackie Kennedy, Lucille Ball, Marilyn Monroe, Katherine Hepburn, and Walt Disney. How much you like the video and the information please let us know in the comment box. We are very glad to be making this video. We will try to make a video with more facts soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share.